Nimbula Director is a powerful cloud management system designed to deliver utility-grade cloud services and Amazon EC2-like services behind the firewall. Built from the ground up, Nimbula Director has been custom engineered to provide a complete cloud management solution to address the needs of enterprise customers and service providers. This video demonstrates the ease of installing a three-node Nimbula Director cluster using a Nimbula Director installation ISO file. Here we have four remote management consoles into four server machines. To build a three-node Nimbula Director cluster, you'll need three x86 64-bit server machines that are enabled with Intel VT or AMD V. We'll call these nodes 1, 2, and 3. And also, you'll need a fourth 64-bit machine that could even be your laptop. We'll call this the seed node. You'll boot the Nimbula Director installation ISO from the seed node. We have a timer in the center of the screen to show that the entire installation process will take around 20 minutes. Certain parts of the video will be sped up through the automated configuration steps. Finally, you'll need two dedicated network subnets, one for the Nimbula Director nodes themselves, and the other for your virtual machine instances. Make sure your seed node is on the same subnet as your Nimbula Director nodes. Now, boot the Nimbula Director installation ISO file from the seed node and select the virtual CD-ROM since we've connected our ISO file to the virtual CD-ROM of the seed node using a remote management console. We'll need to make a few edits to a configuration file called site.conf before we proceed. Open the slash etsy slash nimbula slash site.conf file using an editor such as nano. This configuration file is where we specify the cluster subnet and the VM instance subnet. Under the cluster subsection, we'll set the cluster subnet to 10, 32, 0, 0, 26. Under the instances subsection, we'll set the VM instance subnet to 10, 33, 0, 0, 26. Finally, use the sixth IP address of the cluster subnet as the Pixie server IP address and then use the fifth IP address as the API IP address. This is where our Nimbula Director web interface will point to. Now enter start-nimbula to launch the installation process. Next, the C node becomes the infrastructure controller master node since it's currently the only node in the cluster. The network installation server then starts up on the C node to allow additional nodes to be installed. Finally, the C node is time synced to an NTP server located at ntp.org. At this point, we can power up the first two nodes and network boot them. Let's now power up nodes 1 and 2. These two nodes will communicate with the installation server on the C node and install Nimula Director. Since no user intervention is required, we'll speed up the video at this point until the end of the installation process. Nodes 1 and 2 are now fully installed and one of them is chosen to become the new infrastructure controller master. The seed node transfers its duties as the previous infrastructure controller master to this newly chosen node. All future node installations will network boot from this new master node. Both nodes then start their networking installation servers and sync their times to NTP. Now, power up one or more nodes in your subnet and network boot them as indicated by the original seed node. In this case, we will power up node 3. Once Node 3 has completed installation, the Nimbula API starts up. If you recall, the IP address of this API was defined in the site.com file that we configured at the beginning of the installation. 
The three node Nimbula director cluster has now been successfully installed. We can now access the API at the IP address we specified, which was 10.32.0.5. At this time, you may add additional Nimbula director nodes by powering on additional server machines on the cluster subnet. They'll self-install with the same no-touch ease as the first three nodes. The final step before we can begin using and administering Nimbula Director is to license the installation. Open up a web browser that can route to the cluster subnet and go to the API IP address. Here you'll see the cluster's console licensing page with a sequence of steps required to license the Nimbula Director cluster. Click on the link in step 1 and you'll be taken to the Nimbula.com website. If you haven't done so already, register for an account and log in. Copy the product key from the text box. An email will also be sent to you with this product key. Then go back to the cluster's console licensing page. Type in the admin password, which was configurable in the site.conf file. Paste the product key into the text box and click License this site. Your Nimbula Director installation is now properly installed and licensed.